Well, this time of year, if you happen to find yourself behind a combine with a top speed of about 20 miles an hour, you might find yourself getting a little impatient. All right, well, in tonight's travels, Charlie gives us something to think about as we slow down to let the wheels of progress turn. You're not going to run over that little white truck, are you? No. Uh -uh. We'll run it through the combine. <laughs> Roger Richardson likes to take people up in his combine. A modern harvest is a sight to behold. So with all that corn, how are the prices? Well, they're weak. This work is not as easy as it looks, and it doesn't look easy at all. So you got to keep an eye out for traffic all the time. Yeah, well, on a road like this, that's one reason I want to do this intersection. Tom's doing the other one over there. Tom is Roger's grandson. He's better than I am. What do you mean by that? He's quicker and younger. <laughs> cutting corn is not at all like cutting grass. Corn has to be harvested in the way it was planted. Yeah, it's coming in. See, I was just picking it up. The one row. And all fields are surrounded and divided by ditches. Have you ever had somebody put one of these in a ditch? Yeah, I have too. You put one in yourself? Yeah, yeah. That must be a heck of a feeling. Well, it makes you feel dumb. Ah, boy. Then you have the occasional obstruction. I caught something. See where it buckled up? Yeah. Hey, uh, bring the tool pick up. Oh. Uh, all right, you need to wrap it. So remember when your progress is slowed by farm equipment, it's not as easy as it looks. Charles Paparella, WBOC News. This year's corn and soybean yields may reach record levels, so we will see a lot of farm traffic on the road over the next few months. And Charlie reminds everybody a little patience goes a long way.